Um, Aaron, it was, so, it was a pleasure. I had fun with your friends. Thank you for the rum for tomorrow night. I'm going to probably pick up another bottle tomorrow. to see if I can get my friend Brian to come with me. Very good to hear. We'll see if we can have any more soft drinks to bring to your party. Uh, I'll dress flashy as before. And do get home safely. Thank you. So, uh, Sam has plenty of things that she's bringing to the party, so. We'll bring the pasta salad. Yeah, great. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Happy New Year. Dress safely, be safe, take care. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Alexa, are there any skills for Marklas? Here are three popular skills. First is Jeopardy. Play up to 12 new Jeopardy. Clues each weekday from categories that appear in the day's broadcast. Shout your response for an authentic Jeopardy experience. Would you like to enable it? No. Okay, next is Would You Rather for Family. Would You Rather is a simple but Alexa, addicting game where you'd make a- Stop. What? I just got the key to the clubhouse. Uh, this is where the party is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, I'll show you around a little bit and I gotta run. Uh, this is the living room, uh, the sitting area. I'm going to probably move uh, this coffee table in the corner over there so that people can dance and I'm going to bring my Bluetooth speaker and these chairs over here my neighbor suggested be put against the wall and anything else I'm going to try to load in the back so that um, people have room to dance because this is a big dance party. Uh, my neighbor was also kind enough to open his home so people can go there to um, get some respite from the party. In there they're going to be playing 80s movies and we're going to watch the ball drop at midnight. much time because this uh, battery is low but uh, I wanted to let you know that she had a stroke and she had it sometime during uh, Christmas or before Christmas and as you guys know she was rushed to the hospital and all that well unfortunately this stroke was so, so severe and she wasn't caught in enough time that it caused a significant amount of damage to her brain and it caused her to lose a lot of functions. So uh, she ended up uh, surviving on a respirator and so before she died, she had uh, organized a power of attorney and all that. This was a long time ago. And she told me that if she uh, ended up in a state like she is now, just take her off, take her off life support. So she'd been living on a ventilator for a few days and because uh, she had her power of attorney uh, take control of her situation, uh, they took my aunt off life support sometime between a Friday and Saturday, Friday night, Friday afternoon, Saturday morning. So. My aunt is currently in the hospital. She's off all supports. And she's laying in bed and she's dying. And I went to see her yesterday and 
she was still in the ICU, but the last I heard, they were going to move her to the medical floor where it'd be quieter, where she'd be able to die in peace. So uh, I'm going to be going through a, yeah, a loss and a bereavement. And it's sad because she and I were close and then we fell apart. And then I turn around a year after this falling out and she's dead or she's brain dead and she's going to go. So, um, she's not, we're not gonna have a funeral for her. We're going to, we're going to have her cremated, which is what she wanted. And she wants her ashes scattered somewhere. And if I'm lucky, I'd love to take her ashes maybe to Disney World because that's where we did our first vacation together two years before I moved in with her in the year two, actually two, three years in the year 2000 when I was about 18 years old. But I was doing some research on that and I heard that's illegal. Um, I'm hoping I could maybe spread them somewhere around the Orlando, Florida area. But if not, maybe up at her cabin. So, um, meanwhile, I am going to uh, join a grief support group for a while so that um, I can process this because uh, grief is not easy. I mean, I was already grieving the loss of our relationship and I started hitting the depression levels and I'm now in uh, counseling dealing with that. So I'm also going to join this uh, free support group that's at the same center where I get counseling. So I'm here now. I'm knock on the door. Won't you come in? Oh wait. Just kidding. <laughs> Aaron, how are oh, you? Ha oh, happy new beer. Hi. New beer? What? Oh no, I shaved. <laughs> no, new beer. That was actually a saying that I came up with uh, years ago because people always drink beer on New Year's. Well, we do have a little alcohol in shot form if you want. Sweet! I'm not putting myself on the blog. Hi, David! What's up, Maya? This guy, I was uh, shooting my blog. You want to say hi? What's up? This is my, this is my blog. Say hello, world. What's up, world? No, no, it's hello, world. Not, not what's up, world. It's hello, world. Oh, hello, world. Yeah, this is uh, Dave. Tell me about yourself. Well, I am tall. I love sports, and video games, and I play them on the regularly. I don't play sports, but I play video games though. Okay, well, um, let me say, David, happy new beer. Happy new beer! Boom! Boom! Boom. Three. Hello, world! Click up in the upper right hand corner, you can find Sunny's channel. Uh, Sunny is also on the spectrum. Uh, she like, uh, since I like to use the term Aspie, most people say autistic. I'm gonna say you're, she's an Audi like myself, and she's awesome. So, um, yeah. Hey, David, so who went to jail? But I don't do that piece yet. Who went to jail? I don't, I haven't taken a serious exam. Martha Stewart! Uh, party was great and I had a nice time but two things I was overwhelmed and I did a lot of rocking stimming because it was just overwhelming in there and number two while I was talking to a few of my friends we were talking about uh, noises that people like to make on big celebrations and I ended up having a trigger with my aunt because when we started talking about that people shooting off gunshots or firing guns at midnight in New Year's Eve, I got triggered and I had to go take some time to myself because the night that uh, it was Christmas Eve this year, uh, my aunt was probably lying in her bed helpless and I don't think, <laughs> or I can't imagine what that was like, but that's just really sad and I can't help but wonder if I'm gonna start crying every time I hear fireworks or uh, the sound of gunshots firing well that's it for now uh, 
If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to check me out on any of my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find those in the description below. And finally, check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. They are scholarly, practical application and reviews related to uh, future horizons and anything from books to autism conferences. Anyway, until next time, I'm Maya and I'm signing off. Bye. Who went to jail? Martha, Martha Stewart! Stewart.